So before we get into anything, this is probably the most easiest and best way to set up for multi-streaming for OBS for free. Like you don't need restream, you don't need anything like that. Restream limits you to two, but we're gonna do multiple on top of, we're gonna show you how to do chat. And I'm also gonna how to show you how to do the vertical, vertical uh, streaming thing. The vertical scenes so you can also do live streaming vertically or tiktok videos uh first of all you know thank you to the people who really set all of this up so we gotta give a shout out to sora yuki for creating the the multi output plugin uh social stream ninja for the chat and um atm vertical or atm for the vertical plugin uh you've probably seen uh harris heller show off them but i'm doing nothing i'm just telling you everything you need to know for the ultimate you know content creation setup uh and i will go through everything uh right now in this video so thank you to all of them uh let's uh let's get into it all right so i'm gonna hide my camera because if i even show my face it's gonna cover a bunch of stuff so i'm just gonna hide it just for the sake of the video just so you guys cool all right so it's very simple what we're gonna do is very but we're going to have our basic OBS startup. So I'm going to just, you know, leave this as blank. This is not really important for the video, but this is what we're going to do. So your OBS should be up to date with, with 30.0. There should be no other issues. So we're going to open up the first link in the comment section below or in the description. Uh, it's going to be multiple RTMP output plugin by Soryuki. Soryuki makes this amazing plugin. So you're going to do is you're going to go to download. You're gonna scroll down past the lettering and then there's a window installer right here. You're gonna click that window installer. It's gonna install. Open it up, go to install. It's gonna, it's gonna say it's a suspicious file. It is not a suspicious file. A lot of people we've known been using this. It is not suspicious. Download suspicious file. Now it's gonna say window protect your PC. It does not, it, it's an unrecognized app. That's why it's stopping it. Thank you, Norton more info and then you click run anyways now you see how it's not there right now we'll close obs minimize that open up obs again all right uninstall no you're gonna click install what ignore click close now you're going to go to your docs. You're, you see how the multi-output there now? Boom. So you click multi-output, and now you have a new multi-output thing. Now, I should let you all know right now, you should have a main source of where you're streaming to. So if you're someone who likes to pick, oh, I want to do one or the other, that's kind of whatever, it's going to be a little bit more difficult. Uh, but if you're someone who's like, man, I mainly stream on like Twitch, but I want to try Kick or YouTube or Twitter or whatever... This is perfect for you. So whatever your normal streaming setup is, like where you go to, that's perfect. Everything else you're going to be adding onto will go here. And it's very simple. You just click add target. You're going to give them a name. We'll go kick. You put your kick URL there or the, the stream, the stream URL. You put the stream key and then you just keep going. So you can choose your encoder. You can do this or you can get it all from OBS. I just choose leave it from OBS. Uh, it, I've never had an issue, so then you just click add, and then boom, now you have another source. So I have a live save source, and I have a kick source. I made a live save one before, because I had this to show this to somebody else, but now I also have live space again. So what you have to do when you go streaming, you have to click start streaming on your main source first, and then start from everywhere else. It just makes it a lot easier when you do one by one, but you have to start here first, and then the other one next. It's very straightforward, very beautiful, very easy, breezy, beautiful cover girl. Yeah, that's the multi-output plugin. It's very simple. Now it comes time for the actual chat function. Now, let's go back to our Google Chrome. Let's close this now. Close that. Now we're going to go to the second part where the multi-stream comes in. That's where it came from uh, Harris Heller. Or not Harris Heller, my bad. Social Stream Ninja. It came from Social Stream Ninja. Um, it's very simple. Down, jump to download and instruction. And then just click on the, the main zip right here. And he even tells you how to install it. So, but we're going to go over this as well. It's very simple. So, for example, I'm going to go to Manage My Extensions. 
you see how development mode is on and off i'm gonna turn it back on i'm gonna remove even my my current social stream ninja clear all back uh remove yes i want to remove okay go back to social stream you want to click that download main zip pretty straightforward as you see this is my 10th time doing it because i've shown this to people 10 times now so what you're going to do, you're going to double click and you're going to want to extract it to a folder. I usually, I have a, a folder on the desktop, so I just go to that. Social stream right there. Click OK. And now it's going to tell me yes to all, but it should just install normally. So, and if you have a double click file, just click yes to all to update all your stuff. Boom. It's there now. Now let's go back to our extension. Remember, developer mode on. So if you haven't done that, turn it on. Go to load unpacked. And now just click, um, go to your desktop where you saved it. Click the file that you recently downloaded. So like you see the recently download times and all that. Select folder and boom, social stream ninja should be right there. So just make sure you have the most updated version. See how mine updated again. I'm just going to do it again just to show, for example, I'm going to remove that. I'll remove that 1.522 because the most updated one is 1.66, as we know. There you go. So now what you're going to do, you're going to go to your extensions. You see that Social Stream Ninja is right here. You're going to want to pin that. All right. So now we go to our pin. And now extension disabled. We put that on. Now it's turned on. So here's the most important part. This is going to also be for your OBS docking. This is going to be for like viewing chat and all that. You can do a feature chat overlay. But right now, we're just going to be worried about docking it to our OBS. I'm going to do just my quick, simple setups that I've done before for it. And we're going to move on. So for like overlay, what I like to do, I like to go to the dark mode right here and turn that on. Mechanics, message from the start at the bottom rather than the top. That's what I like to do. I don't believe I do anything else over here. Uh, visibility. See, the visibility is nice because you can hide like hide tw certain messages, show icons, hide where they're coming from. Or if you want to show them on your thing, you can. I keep typically just leave that alone. Uh, styling. Uh, I go here, make emojis big, bigger. I you typically like seeing the emojis a little bit larger because I like to see the details in them. Um, and that's it. And you can see you have this link right here. So what we're going to do, we're going to copy that link address, but we're also going to open it up over here. Because you can also open it up as a web, you know, as a web browser yourself just to show you what you're going to do i click on this button and i'll explain what it means in a minute but what we're going to do now is we're going to go back to our obs we're going to go to docs custom browser doc and i'll leave this multi uh if i can spell multi chat and then put the url click apply boom multi chat is now there and i can move it over here and make it my little chat plugin see remember how we had we we turned down that red little upside down arrow with the line on it on it. We do that for a reason because that way when the messages roll through, they're gonna go from the they're gonna just stay going up like in a normal feed, like if you see on Twitch or anything like that. So it won't just stop for us. All right. Now the most important part about this tool, and it'll say it in here as well in social streams uh GitHub, as well as their YouTube video, which I'll link down below, is that you need to pop out the chats. So for example. I'm going to pop out my kick chat and I'm going to pop out my Twitch chat and show you, for example. All right. So now I got OBS. I got my extensions going. Here's my kick chat, right? Oh, whoops, my bad. And I do a little heart just to make sure everything goes through. There's my heart. Comes up over here. It's also over here as well. Same thing with Twitch. We're going to check Twitch. Now, I will say with Twitch, it takes a little bit longer sometimes. So I'll do like a couple messages to kind of get off the bat. Luckily, I got it right off the bat this time, so on and so forth. Now, with stuff like YouTube and Live Space, you kind of still have to pop out the chats if you can. I know with like Live Space, uh, as long as you have the tab open, it, usually, it picks up chat pretty well. Um, but if you go to the GitHub, it tells you all the information you really need to know, which is nice. But you have to keep these popped out chats open just so Social Stream can pull them for you. Pretty straightforward. Now you have your chat, you have your multi output. It's pretty great, right? But what now? Let's say you want you stream on like TikTok or you stream on like any kind of vertical platform or you want to get TikToks ready or anything like that. Well, I got you covered, man. 
Aren't I a nice guy? So I'm gonna just pin that and get rid of the old one. Uh, so social stream right here. Bye bye. Now we go to ATM vertical, and I'll put this link also in the chat below. It's very straightforward. You go to download. It leads you straight to the link, and it's gonna start downloading for you. So just give it a little bit. There you go. See how it starts downloading. We're gonna double. We're gonna double click on it. Yep, I don't care, Norton. Thank you, Norton. Yes, Norton. Thank you, Norton. All right, now we're going to double click on the, the installer. If it will install. There we go. Okay, okay. We opened up too many. So let's close that. Yes. Close that. Yes. Sorry, my computer took too long. All right. Next, vertical canvas. Next, click install. Boom. It's there. Now, what I'm going to do, just to make sure it's there, I'm going to close OBS, right? We're going to open it back up again. Thanks, kick. All right. Docs. So, you now you have your vertical scene, vertical source. Vertical scene transition and vertical. So what I like to do, I like to put it over here when I get a scene, when I get a chance. Boom. I like to get rid of my uh, scene transition because I really don't need to worry about my scene transition at this current moment. Uh, vertical source. And since typically, since I'm since I don't stream on TikTok at the current moment, I just use it for making TikToks. I'm going to get rid of my vertical scene. So that way I can just add my source. So when you add your source, obviously you just add whatever you want to do. You treat your vertical source like you do your regular source. You put all that in there and then you adjust for what you want. Now, really quickly, let me do this to tell you how to save the backtracks and how to save them as TikToks and all that. So you want to go to your little settings button right there, right? Under general, you have your 1080 by 1920. Uh, what I do is I always keep backtracks on. You want to click that. You want to make sure that is check mark. Uh, I set myself up for 59 seconds. It's a good little roundabout number for me. And then I give it a browser file. So I just click any file where the recording path will go to. So for me, it's just this random video slot that I'm not using anymore. Uh, save ha uh, backtracks hotkey. So what I do is to save a hotkey. Pick something that you don't really type on. Pick something you really want to use, but you can easily access. So for me, I just did the minus bar because it's just right there next to my finger. I'm never really going to use it except for when I'm typing. Uh, so that way it just does what it does. Click OK. That way, when I do save something and I do save the minus bar, I'm going to hit minus. I'm going to get a little notification that it went there. So now I'm going to open up my video. Not video poker. No one cares. Hold on one second. Go to videos. Uh, let's see, Resident Evil, where is an Evil? There we go, Resident Evil Resistance, there's my backtrack right there. And everything's going to pop up how it is. So everything is saved now to a file. You literally have now, so you have your multi-stream output right here. You can make it, you can make it as big, as tall as you want. You have your control panel right here, your vertical right here, your vertical source, your audio mixer, your source, your scenes for your mainstreaming, and your multi-chat, which we did confirm. It's the most ultimate free setup. So not only you can you stream to multiple places right here, you could also set up a TikTok stream down here, have all your chat popped up right there. And like I said, if you go to the links down below where the video explains all about the chat stuff, you're pretty much straightforward with everything. Thank you all for watching. I hope you all have a wonderful day. And if you have any questions at all, Google it. I don't know what to tell you. I can help out so much in the comments. I can do whatever I can when if I know you personally, you know, obviously I'll help you out. But hopefully this all helps out. Hopefully if, you, if there's any other questions you have, you can ask in the comments of this YouTube video and I can help you as best I can. All right. Sounds cool. Hope you all have a great day. Bye-bye.